Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will discuss how to encrypt and decrypt files using Python. We will follow symmetric encryption, which means using the same key to encrypt and decrypt the files. To continue following this tutorial, we will need the cryptography Python library. You can install it simply by using pip install. If you're using Windows, you can do it in the command prompt. If you're running a VS code, you can do it simply in the terminal. So all you would do, we would do pip install cryptography. Now this step may take a little bit of time. I already have the library installed on my computer, so we're good to go. And the second thing that you will need is some sample file. Um, it does not have to be CSV, it's just for me, for, the, for purposes of an example. I created a sample CSV file with some grades, which contains the student ID, student's first name, last name, and the grade. And I just have a sample of five records. As the next step, we will be creating the encryption key. In our example, we will be using symmetric equation. And to do that, we will need Fernet. Fernet is authenticated cryptography, which doesn't allow to read and or modify the file without having a key. So let's import it from our cryptography library. Okay. And now let's start creating our key. Let's call it key. Fernet dot generate key. Now this key will be created and stored in your local memory and we would like to have it outputted as a file so we can take a look and actually see what that key looks like. Let's call this file my key. and write our key to it. Perfect. Now, if we run this chunk of code, you will see that the file has been created. And if we take a look at it, it just looks like a string with characters. So, this file is actually containing the encryption key that we will be using to encrypt and to decrypt the CSV file. Keep in mind that running this code every time will create a new key. Now, what happens when we want to reuse a key or use the key that someone shared with us? We would need to load that key and then use it. To see how to do that, let me first comment out this section. Now, let's say someone shared a key with us that's also called mykey.key. First thing we would do, we would open the file. Save it locally. And let's print it out just to make sure it's the same key that we actually have in my my key.key file. Now running this code gives us this output as a string. So this is the key that we just loaded. And let's verify. It is actually the same. So now we've successfully loaded a key into our environment. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, turn on your notifications, and stay tuned for more programming tutorials.
now that we have the file to encrypt, which is great CSV, and the encryption key, which is my key dot key, we will now write a chunk of code to utilize these and return the encrypted file. So as a first step, what we will do, we will initialize the Fernet object, pass our key to it, and store it as a local variable, uh, let's call it f. As the next step, we will read our original data and store it as original. Then we encrypt the data using the Fernet object that has our key and store it as encrypted. And finally, we will write it into a new CSV file called enc underscore grades um, for encrypted grades. Okay, let's run this code. So it ran just fine and we see that the encrypted grades CSV was created. And if we take a look, this is actually not showing any of the data that we saw before because this file is encrypted. After you encrypted the file and, for example, successfully transferred the file to another location or to another person, there is a need to access it. Now the data is in the encrypted format. The next step is to decrypt it back to the original content. The process we will follow now is the reverse of the encryption in the previous part. Exactly the same process, but now we will go from encrypted file to decrypted file. So let me just comment this out. The first step is the same. We will create a Fernet object, pass our key to it and save it as F. Next, we will read our encrypted data, which is enc underscore grades dot CSV and save it as encrypted. Then we will decrypt the data using the Fernet object with our key and save it as decrypted.
And finally, we will write it into a new CSV file called DEC underscore grade CSV for decrypted grades. So the process is very similar to how we encrypted the file is basically the reverse of it. Now let's run this code and see what we get. So the code ran just fine and we see this file appearing right here. Let's take a look at it. So we've decrypted the file successfully and it's back to the original data and it's identical to the original file, which is great CSV. Let's conclude what we talked about today. This tutorial introduces basic symmetric file encryption and decryption using Python. We have discussed some parts of the cryptography library as well as created a full process example. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions or have suggestions for some edits and check out more of my videos on the channel, subscribe, turn on your notifications and also read more Python programming articles on my website www.python.com pyshark.com